Hi there, it's Amy Kunkel, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator and Blogger at CrazyBeautiful.com. Today we are going to make a, a card with inlaid dies. It's a technique that I absolutely love and I haven't done it for quite a while. So um, I'm really excited about it and I'm really excited because the butterflies thinlets are so fun to play with. Um, I'm going to do a monarch butterfly. So I'm going to start just cutting a couple different butterflies. I'm going to cut one first out of this grassy layer and that's going to be um, my card base. And then I'm going to cut it out of black as the outline and orange and white. This is our new Tangelo Twist. It's an awesome color. Oh, my nails are not painted. I can't do this video. I'll be right back. So as I was saying, I am going to cut the butterfly first out of this background piece. And I just need the outline, so I'm going to just set the other piece aside. Now this time I'm going to run it through another butterfly through with black and you're going to have a new dryer sheet underneath. So I have my magnetic platform, then my cutting plate, and the rest of my sandwich there. Now for this one, I just want the outline of the butterfly. I don't necessarily need all the pieces from the inside. So I'm just going to pop all these little pieces out and make a big mess in my studio, but that's okay because I just cleaned it. And we're going to run it again out of the tang Tangelo Twist and White. Okay, so again with this one, you're just going to kind of flip it over and try to keep all the pieces in here. Otherwise, just sort of keep them nearby so that you can put them back when we're ready. Okay, so slide that one off to the side. So then what I have here is my black outline butterfly and my orange and white and I have a card base that I've cut. It's uh, going to have a vertical fold so it's 11 by 4 and a quarter and it's scored at 5 and a half. I'm going to adhere this to my card front just to cover the whole entire thing. This piece, this grassy piece is from the Adventure Bound Designer Series paper stack, uh, which is really fun because it has a lot of pictures that look like photographs. And I am going to just add snail adhesive around the outside of this. And I'm really doing quite a lot for me since I usually conserve my adhesive if I can. But this is going to cover the whole entire thing so I really want it to seem like it's the card front that it doesn't have an extra piece. And then I'm going to take my glue stick which I really super love these for inlaid dies. And I'm going to really just um, put the glue from the glue stick underneath where my butterfly is going to be. And I'm going to let it get a little bit gloppy. So let me show you that kind of in a closer look. See, it's kind of gloppy. And I'm doing that just for the reason, primarily because I want all these little butterfly pieces to stick in the butterfly. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting these on. Now I'm setting them into that glue and I'm using my paper piercer just to poke it down. So I'm just going to bring this kind of up close and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to push these out right onto where they're going to go. And I just want these larger pieces 
first, okay? I'm gonna come back and I'll do the smaller pieces in white. You can also use your Tombow Mono Adhesive to just glue them back in, which is what I might do if these don't stay, but I think they're gonna stay because my glue is still wet and it was pretty thick on there. So, tuck all those pieces in and I'm using the white cardstock as the backing, so that's what they're being glued to. So, and I could leave the white spaces um, just white, but I kind of want that inlaid die uh, look, so they're all, so this whole butterfly is going to be flush. So, I'm going to grab him, and what pieces I can see are still in the butterfly, I'm going to try and transfer over directly. And just by kind of touching the paper piercer down onto them, it pushes them out and holds them in place. Now the one thing you're, you may not see on the video is the fine little hairs that kind of come, the little hairs of paper that come out on the edges of the die. So. What I'm going to do when I'm done is just take um, a paper towel or something and just wipe wipe off a lot of these little hairs that are that are showing up. So this is the part that is kind of like a puzzle. These last few pieces, um, I'm just trying to get them where I think they go. Okay, I've got them all in place, and I'm just kind of scraping off some of the glue that ended up squeezing out. One thing I like to do when I have an intricately inlaid die um, piece like this is uh, just to run it through my Big Shot with the magnetic cutting platform and your cutting plates and just a piece of cardstock right over the top, like a scrap piece of cardstock. And this is going to just flatten and smooth that butterfly. And also really get that adhesive um, sealed in there. All those little pieces sealed in there. So you wanna be careful because I did have some glue that kind of squeezed out. So be careful as you're peeling that off um, and again, maybe just wait till it dries before you do that. But that really does seal in my inlaid pieces nicely. So I'm going to finish this card and post it over on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, I wasn't necessarily going to show you how I finished this card, but I kind of discovered something sort of fun. So, um, I was trying to add a dashed line down here with my white gel pen and it wasn't working out. I white heat embossed this um, sentiment on the front, but I just couldn't get that dashed line to show up. So what I did, I grabbed my Craft White Whisper White Reinker and just squirted a tiny little dot on, you can see my scrap paper where I was trying to get my white gel pen to cooperate. Um, but I'm just using a paintbrush, a small little paintbrush, and I'm kind of flattening the tip uh, by going back and forth here. And I am just tracing over those lines that I tried to draw with um, the gel pen. So you can see how it shows up so much better with that white craft ink. So there's a fun tip for you. And I didn't want to just pop this over onto my blog and then have you asking about 
those dashed lines. So there you go. You like this little added bonus technique outtake. And um, you can still stop over at my blog and leave me some love over there because I do appreciate that. And um, feel free to order any of these supplies from me as well so I don't have to go back to work. <laughs> okay. There we go. So I'm just going to let this dry and I'll show you the finished card again over on my blog. Thank you so much. See ya.